This training was created to give people knowledge and skills to use pronouns in various settings. It does not cover all trans competency skills in education or medicine. By the end of this video, you will know how to ask someone's pronouns, how to share your own pronouns, how to make group introductions inclusive, how to navigate making mistakes, and how to intervene when someone else makes a mistake in front of you. You'll also hear some of the ways that using the wrong pronouns impacts trans and non-binary people. All trans and non-binary people have different preferences. There's no universal approach for these situations. However, this training will teach some of the most generally agreed upon tactics for using pronouns respectfully. All right, everyone, are we ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, great. I hope everyone had a really nice and relaxing winter break. Um, I don't know all of you yet, though, so I was hoping maybe we could start by introducing ourselves. Uh, let's go through and say our names, our hometowns, and something fun that we did over the break. And I can start. My name is Joe. I am from Burlington, Vermont, and I went skiing with my family over the break. If I may, would it be all right with everyone if uh, everyone included their pronouns as well? Mm. Great idea. Um, my pronouns are she, her. I'll do that. Sure. Uh, my name is Corey. Um, I'm from Seattle, Washington. My pronouns are they, them. And what did I do this break? I saw the Hamilton musical. Oh, oh. nice. My name is Cam. I'm from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, or they, them. Uh, and I guess what did I do? Over the break, I actually learned how to bake a souffle. Wow. Um, I'm Matt. I use he, him pronouns. I'm from Maine. And uh, I got a puppy. Oh. Ooh. I'm Emmett. I'm from Austin, Texas. Over break, I built a birdhouse. And I use he, him pronouns. Um, I'm Clark. My pronouns are he, him. And I'm from California. And over break, I visited my family and went scuba diving. It may seem trivial, but normalizing shared pronouns during introductions makes everything a lot easier for me. It can be difficult for me to bring up my pronouns if no one else is doing so, and if I don't tell others my pronouns, I will often get misgendered in front of people later on. Creating this space during introductions where pronouns are requested and shared sends the message that my identity is normal and understood, and it helps me focus on material that we're here to discuss rather than the possibility of being misgendered. It takes pressure off of me and makes me feel seen. Hey, Sam. Hey, Alex. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, um, so I was actually talking to Sarah. She said that you're really into skiing. Yeah, I am. I'm actually planning on going up this weekend with some friends. Do you want to come? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Can you send me the details? Yeah, I'll keep you in the loop. By the way, I don't think I've asked before, but what are your pronouns? Sure, uh, so they're he and him, uh, and they and them also work for me. Okay, cool. Um, I'll let you know what happens this weekend. Awesome. It's okay to ask a person's pronouns after you have met them or even after you've known them for years, especially because someone's pronouns can change over time. Asking a person's pronouns can be done very casually in many scenarios, whether you're an acquaintance, friend, teacher, colleague, or clinician. All you have to do is say, I haven't asked you before, what are your pronouns? Or, your pronouns aren't in your chart. What pronouns do you use so I can address you correctly? This normalizes asking about pronouns, builds trust, and creates a more comfortable and respectful climate for trans people. I'm really nervous for the ob -GYN clerkship. Mm, I don't think you need to be nervous. I feel like you're going to get there, and they're going to be like, she's the best medical student we've ever had. Sorry, I meant he. You're right. I should just be more confident. But thanks for correcting yourself. If I know that someone knows what pronouns I use, but never makes an attempt to use them, I feel invalidated and disrespected. It feels like they don't care. I'd rather have someone make a mistake and quickly correct themselves than not try at all. 
On the other hand, I feel so awkward when someone over-apologizes after making a mistake with my pronouns. It draws too much attention to the situation and can be very embarrassing. It's better to correct yourself and move on and apologize later in private. Okay, we have two new patients coming last night. One with a GI fistula. Uh, Jane, you take that one. And then we have another one with CF. Um, Lou, why don't you take that one? I know she hasn't had very many pulmonary cases yet, so let's give her the opportunity to do that. Um, I'd, I'd be happy to take a patient with a fistula. Um, Lou's just telling me that uh, they've seen a lot of GI stuff recently and I have all the pulmonary cases. So, um, yeah, D does that work for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense for us to see a diversity of patients so we can improve our skill sets. Sounds good. Any questions for me before rounds? Okay. Thank you for that. He never asked for my pronouns, and I didn't know how to correct him without making it awkward. No problem. I can also talk to him again later to make sure he knows in case that example wasn't clear. Thank you. That would be really great. It's been really exhausting trying to find the time to correct someone or tell them in private when they haven't asked about pronouns, and I feel like I'm doing it all the time. Um, and especially in this kind of scenario, it makes me really nervous because he's grading me. I totally feel you. Hey, uh, can I talk to you really quickly? Yeah, sure, what's up? Um, so I just want to let you know, Lou uses they, them pronouns. Oh, I noticed you using they, them earlier. I should have asked. Um... Uh, I'll try to use the right ones going forward. I, I may mess up, but um, I'll definitely try to use the right ones. Uh, what pronouns do you use? Uh, I also use they, them, actually. Uh, thanks for asking. What about you? I use he, him. Um, I'm, thanks for correcting me. I'm going to go um, try to talk to them later and check in. I think that'd be a really good idea. I think they'd really appreciate that. People often assume my identity and my pronouns based on what I look like. Gender presentation and gender identity are not the same thing. I shouldn't have to change my appearance to have my pronouns respected. It is always better to ask someone's pronouns than to assume them. You often don't know unless you ask. It's okay to make mistakes. Everyone does. Pronouns take practice. If you make a mistake, forgive yourself and resolve to try again. By practicing consistently, you can be a role model for other clinicians, educators, and students, and a good ally to trans and non-binary people.